Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, at present, the Australian dollar continues to bombard the support level seen around 62.45.60 and as we can see, it's still holding relatively well. Even though that the market has buckled a few times towards this level, the bulls have responded in a very positive way. And at present, while intact, still keeps the upside focused, eventually back towards 64 cents. With that being said, a close under 62.45 would give further ramification towards that bearish case and therefore look towards 59.5 to 60 cents as a potential target. Looking at the euro, well, as the Australian as the US dollar, that is, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, consolidates around the 113 handle, we can see that we've got an inverted hammer when it comes to the euro. So a little bit of indecisiveness as the market pressures the downside. Still, at this present stage, we can still see that the current attempt to recover is a little bit lackluster, and therefore we should not rule out, as we are in the middle of the range, of a small week of play into tonight. And it all will boil down to the minutes that will be released from the U.S. Federal Reserve. And furthermore, we've got the U.S. inflationary numbers coming out on Thursday and then retail sales on Friday. So there's still quite a lot of turbulence in the market. When we finally get the data out of the way, we might get a bit of a clearer trend and see really how strong that U.S. dollar is as it's trading around that 113. Looking at the dollar yen, well, the market's managed to claim 146 without any intervention and as we can see for over the last six days that the market is still creeping higher a little bit hesitant but i feel that it's just testing to see where is that intervention level like we saw previously as i said before i'm not a buyer up here and therefore the market may eventually see a snap to the downside looking at the Sterling, well, the market was weaker overnight following the Bank of England's um, speech by the Governor Andrew Bailey. Along with that, we are a little bit showing to the firm, uh, well, recovery that is from that 109 region. As long as we remain above that level, then a recovery look for at least a 300 point rebound. Finishing up with golden oil, you can see that the market's still somewhat weak since it took out that level around 82. And now looking towards 1,655 area and reassess from there and finishing up, wrapping up with the oil. As we can see that the break of $88 a barrel has put further a negative weak, uh, pattern back into play or negating the top cycle around that 95 to 97 area. And now may actually see a tumble towards 84 and reassess. That wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look happy to interstate report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.